guys welcome to another DaVinci Resolve editing tutorial and in this video I'm going to be showing you three different techniques on how to create the draw scribble neon animation effect inside of DaVinci Resolve's Fusion. Before I begin if you're new to this channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. There will be one technique that is very quick and simple to do so I'm going to be putting time codes in the description below so if you want to just skip to the quick and easy section feel free to do that all right let's get started so the first one what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click and I am just going to turn this to a new fusion clip let's go into the fusion tab all right so the first technique I'm going to show you it's pretty simple to do we're going to go shift space and we are going to type in background select that then we go shift space again and let's add paint shift space again and we're going to add a soft glow once you've selected your media in you can actually go to the top here and just click merge that'll create a merge node and then we are going to pipe in the soft glow to the merge and now that it's going to go black, we can just go back to background and let's bring out alpha all the way to zero. Let's just organize these nodes. So let's find a spot that we want to start it. I think I'm going to start it here. So click on the paint node and let's go and let's zoom in. So you can do that by hitting control and using your mouse wheel. And as you can see, the paintbrush is just a little bit too big. So let's go to brush controls. We also want to make sure that it's on multi-stroke at the top here. And we're just going to draw a line. And as you can see that there is a white glow. And if you want to change the color, we'll just go over to the soft glow node. I might make this green. So we're just going to turn off blue red and alpha. I find that if you turn off the alpha channel it um, blends a bit nicer. And let's go back to the paint node. Let's go over a frame by pressing right arrow on our keyboard and it's going to disappear. This just basically means we've got to paint it in again and this is where the animation part comes in. And we're just going to do this for each frame. I'm just going to trace around our talents. If you want to add different colors to the um, paint effect, you'd have to create a new merge node. So let's go here and just make a new merge. And then you want to add everything back again. So let's just rename this. So right click and, and let's go rename. And let's um, call this one green. So we know that this is the green color and then let's and then let's change this one to, um, let's call this one purple, because I'm gonna make this purple. And then you just wanna do the same thing. So let's click into the empty space here. Let's go shift space and then type in background. Make sure it's in multi-stroke and let's go to brush controls. Let's bring the size all the way down. I'm going to zoom in. It's going to be white and let's go to soft glow and let's make this purple so we're just going to take out the green and then a so now you've got two different colors of the scribble neon animation glow effect and you just got to go frame by frame it's a little bit tedious so i'm going to go over a frame so with this effect i'm just basically making it look like it's switched colors all right, I'm happy with this animation here. So let's go on to the second technique I'm going to show you. I'm going to right click and I'm going to turn this to a new fusion clip. And now I'm gonna make sure that the playhead is on the clip. And then I'm going to go to the fusion tab, go shift space and let's type in planar tracker. Let's 
make sure our playhead is at the beginning. So let's go over to the nodes inspector tab and I'm just going to leave this is track and I'm going to change the motion type from perspective to translation and rotation. I'm going to leave everything else the same. So I'm going to use his sunglasses as a tracking point. So you want to make sure that it's on click append at the top left corner here. And then we are going to just track. And then I'm just going to track forward. You can go frame by frame or you can um, just let it analyze itself. It's doing a pretty good job. All right, we've ran into issues here, but for the tutorial, I'm just going to leave it as is. So I'm just going to bring it back to the start and I'm going to click planar transform and that's going to create another node that pops up and I'm just going to put this to the side for now and since we've got our tracking point that we want we're going to delete this and then now very similar to before we're going to go shift space and we are going to add our background shift space again and then paint Shift space again, and then soft glow. Awesome, I am now going to add our merge node. And it's black, let's go to background and let's bring the alpha down. And now the thing that pretty much only changes with this technique is we're going to go to our paint. Uh, we're going to adjust our brush size accordingly. Might make it a bit smaller. And then at the top here, before we had it on multi-stroke, and now we just want to go over to the stroke and we make sure we're clicking that, we can start painting. And let's change the color, let's make this red. And now if we go frame left and right it's just going to stay so this is where our planar transform comes in and we're going to go and go shift hold it between the two then now since all the track points are there it should stick to the sunglasses So about here is probably when we start losing track. If you want to turn off the animation of the glasses where we lose track, I'm just going to go to the top here and click keyframes. And now let's find our paint. And we are going to zoom in and we're going to go to the end. We're going to drag this down. And that'll simply turn it off. All right, so that's how you do the second technique. And now let's go to the third one. So for the last technique I'm going to show you in this tutorial, it's a very simple effect to do. It's going to save you a ton of time in editing. Um, you can actually do this in any editing software, such as Premiere Pro, Sony Vegas, Hit Film, and Final Cut. And all it involves is simple video overlays. There's a site called CinePacks and they have a ton of different packs that you can download for free sample packs and one of the sample packs that I'm going to be using for this tutorial is the Glow Effects 2 sample pack and it comes with four pre-animated designs like this one you also get a demon face you get electricity and you get some sparks if you wish to purchase the full version, you can use my discount code McFilman5 and that will take $5 off of your purchase order. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to use the free clips here. Go here, then let's drag this clip all the way over. And this is super simple to do. Make sure that you've selected the clip, go over to the inspector tab at the top, and then 
let's go to composite mode and let's change it to screen. So let's animate the position of this. So once you're happy with that, let's click the keyframe and let's readjust the position. So let's pop it here. Let's just have a look at that. Very cool. Now you can actually change the colors of these. So if you're not happy with having the blue and you want to change it to like purple or something like that, you can um, just go to the color tab. And what I like to do is I like to make sure I'm in the RGB mixer. I um, change it to monochrome just so it's a white glow effect. And then I'm going to right click and add a new node, new corrector node. Let's just add that here. And then now let's start adjusting these mixes. So now we've just changed the color from a blue to a green. So where he snaps his head up, we could just add the demon face. Let's make sure we've selected that clip. Cool, so we've just added the demon face overlay effect. So maybe with the bit where his foot lands, I could even add a spark hit. And let's maybe duplicate this, control C, control V. So let's go and let's go to color tab and let's change the color. So yeah, this technique is the quicker way of creating the draw, scribble, neon animation effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. And I believe that combining all three of these techniques that I've just shown you in your video clips will create amazing music videos or promotional videos for your clients. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.